You know, as parents, obviously, we all want our children to excel in school, right? But often we struggle in trying to find ways to help them do so. It seems that between new education requirements, standardized tests, etc., etc., their plates are pretty full. Take, for example, the new Common Core State Standards, which nearly all states have adopted. This initiative raises the expectations of children in school, and this in turn raises the bar for standardized tests and graduation requirements. Joining us today is Nancy Policino, president of the nonprofit group Association for Middle Level Education. Good morning. Good morning. Thank Thanks you so for much for being me. here. I got to tell you, when I see what our children have to endure today, it's absolutely amazing and frightening, let me tell you as well. <laughs> but explain to us what the Common Core State Standards, what is that? And how this ups the ante. It does up the ante. The Common Core State Standards were developed through the collaboration of teachers, administrators, and experts. And the idea behind developing a set of common state standards was that we would see student achievement improve across the nation. And what is the emphasis nowadays that they're putting on vocabulary? Because that's what I hear all the time, vocab, vocab, vocab. Within the Common Core Standards, it provides us a concise and a clear framework for parents and educators to know what is expected of their students. Right now, we have the standards that have been developed in mathematics, mm -hmm. as well as language arts. And your language arts standards include reading, writing, uh, listening, speaking, technology, media, as well as language. And a very important component in the language piece is vocabulary development because we know that good vocabulary extends throughout all the content areas. So how can we as parents help our children excel in that area? One of the things that is most important, I think, for parents to do is to become familiar with what the Common Core Standards are and what their child needs to know and know where it is that your child is struggling. You need to communicate with them so that you know what their course load is, mm -hmm. as well as there are multiple resources and um, learning programs out there that you can use to support your child's development at home. Just make sure that they do align with the Common Core Standards when you select that program to use. Great information. Thank you so much for Thank your you time. Thank you for inviting me. Really appreciate it. And joining us now from San Diego, California, are the writers of one such program. It's a tool for parents to help their children improve their vocabulary. Doug Fisher, PhD, and Nancy Fry, PhD, of San Diego State University, are co-authors of the William H. Sadlier's Vocabulary for Success program. Good morning to both of you. Thanks so much for having us here today. Now, what did you have in mind when you developed this program? We really wanted to develop a program that engaged young adolescents with word learning, really pushing their vocabulary knowledge, the, the knowledge of words that they use in their reading, in their writing, in their speaking, in their thinking. Our efforts around expanding their vocabulary are not just to expand their knowledge of vocabulary, but especially their use of vocabulary. What's the connection between an expanded vocabulary and students' success? The goal of this program is to really expand students' use of vocabulary, both in reading and writing, as well as in speaking and listening, because it's such an important way for them to be able to represent themselves and to be able to represent their ideas. Of course, when it comes to children, it's important to make learning fun and convenient. How have you done that? You are so right. Learning should be fun. And learning words can be fun. We can play with words, we can enjoy learning words. When you feel successful in word learning, it's also fun. There are also word games in the print version and then word games online. We wanted to build a few other fun things with technology as well. There are a whole host of online videos. There's a video for each word and there's a video for each lesson. And importantly, students can now access it through smartphone technologies as well. This is essential for making sure that these words and the games and the programs are relevant to students. Great information. Thank you to both of you. Really appreciate your time. Thank you for inviting us to join you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And to find out more about William H. Sadlier's vocabulary for success, visit sadlier.com slash thebalancingact.